Okay, uh, above ground pond update. I still haven't fixed this issue, but everything else is holding up okay. Uh, let's see here. I've got uh, goldfish are doing okay. There goes one. Um, the rice fish are doing really well. There's uh, two there, uh, another one there, another one there. Uh, got a rosy red minnow going by. Uh, I think that is, yeah, those are both rice fish. Um, I even have two golden killifish somewhere. Hard to see him from this direction. Uh, let's see, where did he go? There he is. Little rice fish there. Come over this direction. There we go. That looks like a golden killifish, but it's actually a brown rice fish. The rest are platinum rice fish. And uh, they're pretty happy. Okay, there we go. Uh, so right dead center is a golden killifish, and above it is a rosy red. And to the right of that is uh, two, three uh, rice fish. Kind of hard to pick all this stuff out, but they're in there. Uh, water temperature. I had ice. Where'd you go? I had uh, ice on the water right before Christmas. And I was a little concerned about how they would hold up, but it looks like they're doing okay. Got quite a few fish there in the shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, yeah, that's about 65 today, but we've been having uh, cold water temperatures for a while. I don't think my snails made it, unfortunately. I just don't think they're made for this kind of cold weather. Uh, but I really like the rice fish. They are very low maintenance. They're very cold hardy. There's even a little, this one right here is just tiniest little thing. He's gotta be maybe an inch long. Oh, there's the killifish. Where'd you go? Oh, he moved. Um, killifish supposedly, golden killifish are cold water hardy. Uh, water temperature today looks like it is 48 degrees, so they're kind of moving around. Uh, when I got here a couple days ago, the water temperature was still, um, it was like 35, 38, so, uh, I think there's still some more rosy red minnows, um, under the leaf litter here, we've got a, a Japanese maple up above it dropped all of its leaves everywhere. And this looks like uh, possibly a surviving mystery snail. Um, there are some pieces of a mystery snail over here. Uh, I don't think he made it. And then there's also some nerite snails floating around in here, maybe. Um, don't think it's lack of calcium that killed him because I've got like a it. A piece of cuttlefish bone right there. Uh, where'd you go? Piece of cuttlefish bone there. Um, yeah, I've been dosing with calcium, natural calcium, pretty well for the last however long. It's my white and orange, and then there's another guy there at dead center. He just likes to hang out. There you are. Yeah, hi guy. Rice fish. 
these guys are really cold hardy. I mean, um, they have a pretty good reputation for that uh, in Asia. But I haven't seen too many people talking about these uh, in the States. Um, I got these guys, they're tank bred uh, from Southern California, so I was a little concerned about their cold hardiness, but it seems to be in their genes. And I honestly, I think they're some of the best little fish you can get. Um, you know, sometimes they just sort of sit there, but a lot of them are curious little guys. And pretty active pretty much all the time. So, yeah, uh, I started with, I think, 10 of the rice fish and uh, I still have all 10, so that's great. Killifish, I think I started with 10 and I've seen two. I got one on video. Uh, I think the rest are hiding in the leaf litter. So, uh, January 15th, I think. Um, had some really cold weather. I don't think the water temperature has gotten above 50 since probably the end of November. Uh, they seem to be doing pretty good, so I'm going to leave them in here. <laughs>